tonsillitis. The tonsils are a pair of small almond-shaped structures on either side of the throat, just behind and above the tongue. The structures act as a defense against infections that invade the body through the nose and mouth. Tonsils are a part of the body's protective lymphatic system, which dispatches cells that literally gulp down bacteria. Adenoids are structures located at the back of the nose, above the tonsils. They too help keep away respiratory tract infections. Occasionally, bacterial infections overwhelm the tonsils. This infection, known as tonsillitis, is often one that children come down with between the ages of 3 and 6. The symptoms are similar to those of flu, and so it may be difficult to distinguish between the two. The primary symptom is a sore throat that makes it difficult to swallow, others a headache, ear pain, fever and chills. The tonsils become swollen and red. You may also notice specks of white discharge on the infected tonsils. Occasionally, the adenoids swell too, giving a nasal quality to the child's voice. Earlier, the only known cure for recurrent throat infections was tonsil surgery. Medical opinion has changed, however, and now this procedure is less common. More often than not, having tonsillitis, even when it recurs up to seven times a year, does not mean that the tonsils should be removed. In a surgical procedure called tonsillectomy, you don't have to pressurize your child's doctor to remove tonsils just because this was commonly done years ago or on the basis of any of these misconceptions. Some misconceptions. Tonsils are useless. The child will be healthier without them. It is a myth that a tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy make a child less susceptible to colds, sore throats and other respiratory diseases. Nor does the operation relieve an allergy or a chronic problem such as asthma. Tonsils are enlarged. What you observe as swelling may be the tonsils normal size. Tonsils are very small at birth and then enlarge gradually, reaching maximum size at the age of 6 or 7. Thereafter, they usually shrink to walnut size. Adenoids grow between the ages of 3 and 5 and then shrink, eventually disappearing altogether during puberty. Unless a medical problem is diagnosed, enlargement alone is no basis for surgery. Ayurveda view. In Ayurveda, tonsillitis is called as Gala AU. Ayurvedic physicians consider recurring infection and inflammation of the tonsils to be a key factor in illness in later life. Therefore, the entire immune system is treated, aiming to eliminate the risk. Self-care procedures. Gargle every few hours with a solution of quarter teaspoon of common salt or yavakshara, dissolved in half a glass of warm water or decoction prepared from the bark of acacia, known as babul tree, if your child is older than 8 years. Drink plenty of warm beverages such as tea, with or without honey, and corn soup, if tolerated. Eat foods that are soft and easy to swallow. Avoid spicy foods, chocolates, milk-based sweets, sour substances, curds, buttermilk, cool drinks and fried substances. Suck a piece of hard candy or medicated lozenge such as licorice extract occasionally, if your child is 5 years of age or older. Avoid passive cigarette smoking and atmospheric pollution. Apply hot fermentation externally on the front side of the neck twice or thrice a day. Take the powders of milithi, vacha, and cool engine after mixing together in equal quantities along with honey. This soothes the throat and cures inflammation. Make a solution with half gram of svatika, alum, in 100 ml warm water and gargle with it many times a day. Avoid frequent head baths and rain showers. Ayurveda medicines. Kadaradi Vati is the drug of choice. It is to be kept in the mouth and chewed slowly. Setopaladi Chana is another common medicine that is usually prescribed in a dose of 3 grams, to be taken thrice daily along with honey and ghee to minimize the symptoms. To develop immunity against any future attack of tonsillitis, you can give your child agar stirasayana leha in a dose of 1 teaspoonful, twice daily mixed with honey. Kanchnu Aragugulu in the dose of 2 tablets twice daily with warm water or Kaffa Ketcher as 2 tablets thrice daily or 2 Indikari as 1 tablet thrice daily for 4-6 weeks, give permanent relief. This is all about tonsillitis. If you need further help, feel free to contact this author. Take care about your health. After all, health is the most important thing in your entire life. If health is lost, something is lost. Arugyamas too. Dr. Chiruma Mulla Murali Manohar, MD, Ayurvedam, 
रक्षा आयुर्वेदिक सेंटर सारडी स्टूडियो रोड अपोजिट स्टेट होम अमीरपेट हैदराबाद 73 फोन नाइन वन डबल सेवन डबल फोर फाइव फोर फाइव फोर